Oh my god, another unreal performance. Like, 4-0 for back-to-back -back games at the start of the season is the first time we've done that in over 110 years. It, it's madness. Like, Swansea held their own. They really did. And then Martial gets subbed on, and all of a sudden we score three in three and a half minutes. Madness, man. I haven't seen us play like this since Ferguson. Like, I know I've said that so many times, and so many people have, but it's just... It's madness what a transformation Jose Mourinho's done. And yeah, it's only two games in. Yeah, you've got, oh, it's only Swansea and West Ham. But that's the fucking point. It's only Swansea and West Ham. We drew these games 1-1 last season, like these types of games. We're winning them 4-0 now. That's the difference. That's what held us back. 15 draws and most of them against these types of teams. These are the points that we dropped last season that put us 24 behind Chelsea. And these are the ones that we're going to win this season now. So that's why we're getting so hyped. And um, rightly so, to be honest. Like, Lukaku, Pogba, Martial have all scored in back-to-back -back games. Uh, like, that's madness. I can't remember the last time three players... Uh, did that for us, like all scored and then scored in the following game as well. Uh, Mikatarian, he's went under the radar, but oh my god, four assists already, four assists. He's came on leaps and bounds. Jose Mourinho knew exactly what he was doing with him. He's given him time to adapt to the Premier League. That's what he did last season. And then, you know, he had the Europa League performances where he was amazing. And oh my God, he's made an explosive start this season. Jose Mourinho went for the exact same lineup. No surprise there because it worked so well against West Ham. And he also went for the exact same subs. Bar, I, uh, I'm unsure if Lingard actually came on at the end of the game like he did last game. But he, he subbed on Fellaini and Martial later on. But uh, right before half time. Uh, it's a corner, Pogba, a brilliant header, fantastic save by Fabianski, it's off the bar, uh, it didn't cross the line, but thankfully, Baye's there to fucking karate kick that motherfucker into the back of the net. What's interesting, that's Baye's, not only his first Manchester United goal, his first career goal, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted for Eric Baye, he really, really does deserve that, and uh, yeah, right before half time as well, a sucker punch uh, for Swansea, who actually did do well in that first half, uh, particularly in the third minute, they hit the bar themselves uh, with a, a kind of outside the boot cross um, that, you know, was very unlucky. They had a couple of other half chances and stuff, but on the whole, we were pretty solid and we defended them. Uh, like, their first chance came from a, a bit of a lucky deflection when they started it off by, uh, but they, they pounced on it and they did look a threat with the pace of Tammy Abraham and uh, Ayu up top. But we held on. And then in the second half, uh, as I say, Martial gets subbed on about the 75th minute uh, or the 70th minute. And he makes an instant impact again. Although he isn't really... Well, he didn't get an assist or a goal for the next one. Uh, for the next goal, he, he was involved in it. And uh, the ball finds itself to Mkhitaryan. And it's a really clever first-time uh, pass into Lukaku. He's got so much space. I was celebrating before the ball was in the back of the net. You, you knew it was going in. Lukaku again, that's... Four goals in three competitive games, three in the Premier League. He's doing exactly what we wanted him to. Like, he, he's not going to be, you know, a presence for the full 90 minutes. He's just going to appear in moments, and that's what we need. Like, he was pretty quiet this game, but all of a sudden he's in an AK of space and puts the ball under the back of the net. That's what we're paying 75 million for. Goals. Not, not really much else. We need the goals. Um... And yeah, the third goal comes very shortly after. I think it's like less than a minute after. And uh, it's great work. And Mkhitaryan slides in a beautiful pass for Paul Pogba, who chips it over Fabianski. 3-0. And then uh, about a minute later again, like a minute and a half later, it's wonderful skill from Martial to trickle in beside uh, the defenders. And it's a... You know, it's what we've come to expect from RCL, the type of finish where he, he switches it onto his right foot and just finesses it into the bottom right. And beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Another 4-0 victory. Matic again was absolutely superb. Breaking up play and making plays. Like, he's not just a CDM. He's, he's a CDM that actually knows how to start attacks. Sorry about all this fucking noise outside. I'm right behind it, uh, right beside the stadium, but yeah, you might be able to hear that in the background. But regardless, yeah, Matic is just brilliant. Like he, he literally stops the attacks and he creates the attacks. Like he's the first 
Port of Call, I'm not explaining this right, but basically he fucking starts, initiates, whatever you want to say, the attacks. He's just been phenomenal, so thank you Chelsea FC for uh, that lanky Serbian player who uh, most thought would have been dispensable. <sighs> it's hard, it's really hard not to get over excited uh, purely because it's only two games, but when you see the contrast between the last three years and this year, it bodes well, and I'm looking forward to the Champions League draw. And let's bring on Leicester at home uh, next week. Get another 4-0. Uh, 